Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said these words to him, receive your sight, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. Wow. Pastor Wendy. Pastor Wendy. Yeah. Oh, good. You're back. Okay. I'm back. I was here. No, I've been he... here the whole time. Okay. You've been here the whole time. This is amazing. This story. What did I, I just know. say? You were talking about the blind man and how Jesus, he came and said, I want to see. Okay, and I was thinking about all the things that I want to see. I'm thinking about it's springtime and, and, and new life, and, and I'm just ready to travel. We've been cooped up for a year that we haven't been able to travel with all these restrictions and all these problems and okay. these masks, and then here we are. And I was just thinking about, I have a bucket list, you know? I want to see things just like this blind man. I want to see the beach again. I want to see where Jesus lived. Oh, well, I want to see... Well, I want to see the beach again, but I'd rather see where Jesus lives. Well, I mean, that, awesome. that like would be one of those bucket list items. You know, mm -hmm. my grandmother got to see it in her later years. She always talked about it. And then I know we missed our trip during seminary because of some other things. Well, but, political strife. Yeah, political strife. But nonetheless, I, I want to see Jesus too. But I think we're missing something here. I, I think there's something to be said here because hear the story. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, when he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth that's passing by. And then he called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And they wanted him to be quiet. But what Jesus does, it's remarkable. He doesn't wait for that blind beggar to bring him over to him. He crosses over to him and gives him sight. And he can see again in the midst of his struggles. Wow. You see the connection? So maybe with St. Mark's, what we're learning is people want to see Jesus. And right. they keep coming to the disciples and to Philip asking to see him. And Jesus' response is, well, in order for a grain of wheat to live, it must die. It must fall into the ground and die. And he says, and whoever follows, whoever serves me must follow me. And so maybe we're trying to go all these places and we want to see Jesus, but maybe Jesus is right in front of us, even in the midst of the hardships and the challenges and the mundane. Right. And, and we're looking, you know, it's kind of like that story about you talking about wanting to go see all these things. We're looking for a renewal in all these different places. And when we open our eyes and are attentive to God's presence here, we see that Jesus is renewing us now. So we have this great adventure when we're attentive to what's going on in front of us now. We don't have to travel the world because we can see the adventure here in our own lives. Right, and trust me, our own lives are an adventure sometimes. <laughs> and that's- Never boring. Never boring. <laughs> well, three kids will do that uh, to congregation. But nonetheless, the fact of the matter is, it's not out there that we need to go looking for Jesus. It's realizing that right now in the struggles that we face, the promise of God is Christ is here. And when we can see Jesus with us, it gives us a whole new outlook on life. So join us this Sunday. You can come to St. Mark's and you can join us in person or you can join us on TV or on the radio. We'll be worshiping at 9 o'clock and 1030 and we would love to have you. We'll also be uh, live streaming on YouTube. Well, and, and you're also invited to join us here at All Shepherds Lutheran Church this weekend. We will be at 8 a.m., 930 and 1111. 930 and 1111 are as well uh, live stream and, and just know this promise that whether you're present with us in these two communities of faith or you're viewing in with us through our live stream and our other ways to participate in worship that in the midst of your struggles in the midst of your daily living God is there and God breaks in and think about the story he comes to this blind man this beggar to where he's at and he helps him to see again. He heals him. And so Jesus can do that for each and every one of us. Uh, wherever we are, Jesus comes to us, heals us, and calls us 
to share this good news with the world. So good news, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Look forward to seeing you this weekend.